Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Matty B. It's been a little while since I've done a video. Uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, tell you how this first location started. Uh, the anniversary, four years, just happened on September 28th. And so, about five years ago, I uh, was living in a sober house with about 14 dudes, and I was doing a different profession, and uh, call it a midlife crisis, or whatever you wanna call it, I wanted to do something else. And so this all happened by accident. I was BSing with my mom during Christmas break. She's like, hey, I kinda wanna buy a coffee shop and retire and quit my mortgage job. We laughed and uh, I actually thought about it seriously because I went to school for commercial real estate and sticking a GNC in a center to fill it and create a highest and best use scenario um, was one of the projects and so she smokes a lot of cigarettes and drinks a lot of coffee. That's why she wanted to do the coffee shop. That's not something that I do. That's why I landed on GNC. It, it kind of fit my lifestyle. So I did all the legwork and found out that this Brooklyn Park location was available. I still scouted out other locations, but all said and done, I, I chose this one. And um, during the scouting process, believe it or not, pulled in here and uh, this, if you know Brooklyn Park's parking lot, it's actually a mess. And this lady uh, was sitting there and pulled out, hit me, and uh, everything was all good. She apologized. And then unfortunately, uh, there's a no fault rule. And it, so I had to uh, call my insurance company and they had to uh, take care of it themselves. However, believe it or not, I used some of that money to uh, help fund the startup costs so that was kind of ironic and it, it took about 10 months a lot of work and it, that's how the Vatty BGNC uh, became and um, a couple of my friends that were living in the sober house with me helped me set up this store full of inventory because believe it or not it takes a long 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 time and uh, I worked open to close every day by myself because I had no idea how to hire anybody until Mitch, uh, who actually works here now again, came over from corporate, took a pay cut and uh, came on over here. And then the other first hire, which I'm still friends with him today is Connor. And uh, he was young, everybody told me not to hire him, but he showed up at the same time for I think four Mondays in a row after school. And finally I was like dead, I was tired, I couldn't do open to close anymore. Mitch was only working about 10 hours a week. And it, so I figured out how to hire him, looked at the labor laws in Minnesota, it was all good. Uh, I didn't, didn't pay attention to the, to the GNC 18 plus hiring policy. And it, it, he turned out to be one of my best employees and he since went to school and uh, it was a cool experience, you know, getting, getting to mentor him. And uh, he spent a lot of time with me uh, because I didn't even really know what I was doing when I was trying to train him. Um, and then at some point in the first maybe year and a half, um, this little lady with, the, with some uh, really rad looking eyebrows walked in the door and uh, her name was Nicole who is now the general manager of the, pretty much both stores because I don't actually work in the stores anymore except for uh, special events like this super sale that we have going on uh, next Saturday for this for this anniversary at Brooklyn Park um, and it, so now I am, I am now Maddie B Mortgage and Maddie B GNC, and uh, and I love real estate, and I love and I love owning the GNCs and, and still being involved in them. So I kind of get the best of both worlds, which is super sweet. Nicole, come and say hi. What day is your birthday? Same day as the four-year anniversary of Brooklyn Park. So Tomorrow I didn't 28th. actually put that together till I think this year. Um, but that is uh, pretty ironic and and I met her the first time her coming in here I was BSing with Mitch and uh, then later we ended up uh, talking more and I met her at LA Fitness 
because Fitness 19 closed down, right? Yeah. Used to yeah. be a super cheap membership, which everybody yeah. is jealous of. Um, and so that's the story on how me and Nicole met and how she became uh, an employee because I think that what was your dad selling your business yep. selling his business yep I was working with my parents they're selling their business so I was kind of okay what's next and you uh, need a little help kind of like when Mitch came in so I was like oh I'll work for you a couple days a week yep half and that's, joking and but that's how that worked out you know and uh so there's been a lot of cool experiences with with my employees and uh you know from Connor to Nicole to Mitch who what well, there was like a two-year employment gap right because he went and did his own thing uh he's still personal trains now he's back here he's a friend of a friend kind of thing and uh and so that's the part that I actually love and I do miss working in the stores a little bit but you know at the end of the day if anybody is being honest with you if you get one source of income for your family from a from a GNC or a McDonald's or whatever the case may be it's not a hundred percent in your control to be successful so that's why I don't spend all my time in the GNC's because for one Nicole kicks ass and she has the shit under control and for two it just doesn't make sense when you're thinking about uh, your long-term future if, if your family is self-employed in all avenues uh, and so then that brings me to I think the longest standing current employee which which is Justin and we call him Jay money come on over here dude <laughs> so Jay what I think I know where you got your nickname but where did you get the nickname <laughs> Jay money well I actually got it from this guy's friend right here uh, Kobe doll Mr. Kobe Doll, he's like my best friend. Uh, Kobe introduced me to Justin uh, probably years after they met, because you guys have known each other, what, since you were in about eighth grade? Eighth or seventh grade. Eighth or seventh grade, that's how long Kobe's been personal training him at Fitness 19, and then Kobe went and started his own business. So um, it's super cool, because a lot of my friends turned out to be um, entrepreneurs in, in one form or fashion, which is, even Mitch, who still works here now, he's working on his own thing, you know? Um, and so Justin's been here about three years, and he's the assistant manager, and he's a big part of this this uh, entire operation. He works at both stores, and he's kind of Nicole's right hand go to, um, especially now that I'm you know a little bit out of the picture, except for coming in here and doing sweet videos and working super sales. <laughs> um, and what else was I gonna say about Mr. J Money? Um, it's been really cool seeing him grow because if I'm just being real dude you know like there was a lot of growth that happened he was barely shy uh, he was still young I think what 19 18 18 or 19 18 something like that so just out in the real world and uh, now he has decided to switch his goals and go into uh, automotive right yep so that's pretty much the story of how Maddie B GNC came about and I got the nickname from a guy who is uh, out of Minnesota and they we sell their product now I got it approved through the system it's ultimate Forza but mr. Kevin uh, is pretty much the one who gave me that name and it kind of stuck with me I transferred it to Maddie B mortgage um, and it, and I like it even though everybody gave me flack and said it's not professional and this that and the <laughs> other thing so uh, sometimes fun is better than boring so um, that's pretty much it and uh, I'm grateful to have everybody as 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 I've met everybody and uh, without stuff like this you know you don't get to meet and interact with with as many people so it's it's cool to see that people still come in here interact with us get to know us I see him at the gym mm -hmm. and then just yesterday what well, we were at lot. Walmart at Lowe's parking Lowe's. lot I did have this hoodie on and the truck and somebody hollered and was like hey dude we love your store yeah we and so we shows. we hit him with a flyer what was it a on, his windshield, on his windshield a five dollar coupon in. and then he messaged the Twin Cities live well page saying thank you you know I'll come see you again soon and so it, it's it's just a really cool experience and uh, we're grateful that all of you come in and shop with us and and have had so many cool experiences you know uh, Daryl if you're watching this he works at our LA Fitness but the man offered to give me a $2,500 program or at least access to it 
to learn Spanish. And I was just bullshitting with him here talking at the store. So, um, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I just don't have the time to allocate to learn it, but uh, it would be valuable. Yes. My point is, though, si. that people are awesome. This is why I do enjoy this because you get to interact with people. You know, the young guys keep me young. Um, well, she's actually she's the oldest out of all of us. Um, anyhow, thanks for listening. Have an awesome day, and uh, hopefully, we'll uh, see you at our anniversary event, which is when October sixth, the sixth. Thank you.